Hey guys, Fred here, uh, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors, Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada, YQT. It is 17.10 local time, uh, Thursday, June 29th. As I said, tomorrow we leave for, I better pack that, for uh, White Otter Lake. Um, so some of the dimensions have changed. Um, we were, Kevin and myself and another couple were going to go in from Clearwater Lake into White Otter. But I think now, because things are changing, weather, all kinds of different things, the dynamics are changing. Uh, we're going to go in from the uh, boat launch at White Otter Lake uh, to our campsite. We're going to try to find our campsite. Uh, it's a long weekend here in Canada, of course. It's, uh, you know, July 1st weekend. So... Uh, it's probably going to be extremely busy out there, but I said I'd just give you guys an update as to what I have here. Um, actually, I don't have a whole lot. It's only four days. It probably looks like a lot, but it really isn't. Um, just over here is my my dry bag. I have a dry bag that I keep my um, batteries in, my spare clothes, uh, my rain jacket, uh, my toiletries. I keep in that bag because uh, it's easy to get at instead of the barrel and opening it up. I do have some other stuff in the in the barrel, don't get me wrong. Um, uh, wipes and stuff like that. Uh, my Hennessy hammock. Uh, my sleeping bag. Uh, that is my main meals. That is my breakfasts. And that's just snacks, which will also go into this bag here. I have my um, seat, my chair, and my cushion. Um, I have a pillow for my hammock. Uh, I have pegs and rope uh, in there. I have an axe, not that we're going to be able to have any fires. I have some pick coils. I have uh, my Optimus stove here. Um, my uh, pot to boil water in. I have a couple cups in there. Uh, this is my everyday carry. Uh, in my everyday carry, I have in there... Uh, Magnifying glasses, like a magnifying glass, um, fire starting equipment, first aid kit, some fishing gear, uh, some bug dope, different things like that. This is just batteries. Uh, this is my radio. This is my KX2 along with batteries, uh, CW key. Uh, what else do I have in there? Oh, oh different antennas, different uh, couple end feds, um, some wires just for dipole in here and it's very light so that's not a problem this is kevin's uh, breakfast meals i always bring a tarp of course and of course a fishing rod and my gopro for on the canoe so i have the grumman canoe spare paddle my paddle um of course the emergency kit um i'm bringing the uh, cassette player here or not the cassette player but the recorder for the canada day contest I do have my solar panel down here. Oh, I got some ants crawling around. I have my solar panel down here for charging my gear. I always bring this with me as well in case I need the extra power if we have cloudy and rain. And I have some tackle here, but I am replacing that with my cousin's tackle, uh, Tiger Eye Outdoors. Um, I'm going to replace that uh, with his gear, and I'm going to use that this weekend. Um... Uh, I have my open all knife for filleting fish and a sharpener in here in this bag as well. Of course, my life jacket. I have the um, water filtration system in the pocket. I have a knife in the pocket uh, in case I need it. And I have bug dope in the other pocket. And I, I'll be wearing my Tilly hat. I'm bringing another hat with me, like a baseball hat for when we're at the beach. And I do have a neck cover to protect my neck. Uh, even though I'm using a barrel, I still put everything in dry bags just because you never know what's going to happen. You know, you could lose this stuff and it could hit a rock and bust the top open, but at least then you've still got your gear in dry bags. So that's about it for now. So I'm just going to pack everything into the barrel, pack what I need to in my dry bag, and I'll go from there. And then I have to put the back rack on for the canoe, load up the canoe, tie up the canoe, uh, make sure I have everything that I need for that. And we'll leave maybe, I don't know, 6 or 7 o'clock tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure what time we're going to leave. But I just wanted to give you guys this update. And we're back on 
Tuesday, uh, Tuesday afternoon. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend, a long weekend here in Canada coming up. And, uh, yeah, what can I say? Stay safe. Watch out for one another. And uh, remember, watch out for the other guy uh, because the other guy may not be watching out for you. This is Fred, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada, YQT. Stay safe, guys. 7-3. Hey, good morning, YouTube. Fred here, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. Friday, June 30th, uh, just at Kevin's place here. We're picking Kevin up, and we are heading uh, three and a half hours west to uh, towards Atacokan, and we are going to head to uh, White Otter Lake. And so uh, I didn't give you guys any other updates since last night, but uh, everything's been loaded up, ready to go. Uh, James and M will be heading out uh, probably a little bit later on, uh, another hour or so from their destination. Uh, but uh, we're going to pick Kevin up and we're going to get a head start, head to the boat launch and go in from there instead of going in from Clearwater. And see if we can't find ourselves a campsite there today. But I'll update you guys as we get going and once we get to Atacokan and as we get uh, closer to our destination. Alright guys, we're at White Otter. Loaded up, truck's parked. Just going to let everyone know that we're here via the inReach and that we're on the water. And then we'll catch you guys on the water. All right, folks, we're getting close to the uh, what we call the scout camp. That's where the scouts like to come when uh, the Americans are up and uh, the Canadian scouts come through. Usually the Americans, I believe, though, come through here on their tours. So the beach is straight across yet. We've been at it for two and a half hours, I believe, just about. So... It's like 15, I can't remember, 15 something K from where we left off. So we've been averaging, you know, five kilometers an hour here. So a pretty decent pace. We had a bit of a headwind when we started and it got really calm. Uh, James went by here just a bit ago. He caught up with us and uh, he's now dropped Karen, Cody and Aurora off and all the gear. And he's heading back for a second pickup right now so he'll probably be at least another half hour 45 minutes give or take depending on how much gear they've got so yeah Kevin and I are just gonna paddle on here and get to shore and pull this uh, Cadillac up and uh, see about getting some stuff set up or at least out of here and find out what's gonna happen so I will catch up with you guys from uh, the camp, from base camp. Get some pictures on the phone as well. Some nice cloud cover out here. We'll get some pictures for the video, but uh, here we are folks. We are arriving at our White Otter base camp the day before Canada Day. It is Friday, June the 30th. And as I said, I think it's like 1230. We set out at 10, just before 10 o'clock. It was 9.58 when we set out. So, all right, catch up with you guys here in a bit. Hey, happy Canada Day to everyone out there. Uh, it is, of course, Saturday, July 1st. That's just after 8 o'clock in the morning here at uh, White Otter Lake. So this morning, I am going to try the Peak Refuel Premium Strawberry Granola Cereal uh, with granola, strawberries, and milk. So uh, we'll let you know what it's like after we've uh, tried it. Hey, good morning, YouTube. Once again, just want to let you know that I just finished the uh, Peak Refuel Strawberry and Granola with Milk. I ate it cold this time instead of uh, warm, but um, five minutes, um, it was just perfect. There's enough granola in there. The strawberries were fantastic. Uh, they weren't hard. Uh, they, they rehydrated extremely well. And the milk was good. I've had some uh, breakfasts that uh, the milk is just not not the greatest. So, peak refuel, keep up the good work. And I'm definitely going to get uh, some more of the strawberry. And I'm going to try a few of the others as well. Catch up with you guys in a while. All right. So, for lunch, we are going to have the peak refuel chicken alfredo pasta with chicken 
with pasta, noodles, and Alfredo sauce. So I'm just gonna boil up one cup of water and that's going to be lunch. So stir in one cup of water, boiling water, let stand for 10 minutes. Of course, I've got it in my pouch here. Keep the heat in and uh, we'll let you know how this tastes once, we, uh, once we're finished. So this is lunch this afternoon here for Canada Day, July 1st, 2023, White Otter Lake. All right, guys, we've uh, given the chicken Alfredo peak refuel probably about 12 minutes. So a little bit more time than the 10 minutes. And of course, we've got it in our, our pouch here to try to keep some heat in. So let's, uh, let's give this a whirl here. I'm sure it's good. The others have been good, so well, it's not too hot here. Mm, very cheesy for sure there's lots of cheese in here chicken is good noodles the noodles are tender so that's a good thing yeah quite cheesy you can even see it hmm Quite a bit of cheese. So another winner. The uh, strawberries and granola this morning was a winner. The Alfredo's a winner too. So I have a couple others I think. To, no, I don't. Do I have a couple others or do I still have some in my mountain house to try? I think some mountain house. But anyway, all right. Lunchtime, guys. Talk to you later.